Since 1972, Nebraska's Natural Resources District's NRDs have planted conservation trees and shrubs for windbreaks, erosion control, wildlife habitats, and other conservation purposes. The Nebraska Association of Resources District staff and directors planted their ceremonious 100 millionth tree on the Nebraska Capitol grounds. We had the opportunity to talk with John Thorber, the manager of Tri-Base NRD in Holdridge, Nebraska. Thorber explains more about the ceremony. Today we're commemorating the planting of 100 million trees by natural resources districts across the state of Nebraska since 1972. The, the equipment has changed, the, the purposes for planting trees have changed, we've discovered more benefits of planting trees and so we we have somewhat different motivations than we did before, but in a lot of ways, uh, planting a tree is just the same as it was on the first Arbor Day in 1872. The state capitol is a great, uh, great location to plant this commemorative tree, and the exact spot was picked 90 years ago before they even built the capitol. They developed a landscaping plan, and they still comply with that plan today. So this tree is planted where they uh, intended it to be planted when they built the capitol shares how in the past they have planted trees at the Capitol for Arbor Day and for other occasions. Uh, Nebraska is the home of Arbor Day. We have a long tradition of tree planting and natural resources districts are advocates for trees and shrubs for the benefit of people and wildlife. In the past we've uh, commemorated Arbor Day and, and yeah we planted trees here for a number of reasons. Thorber explains the purpose of the NRD tree programs. Natural resources districts work with private landowners to plant trees for windbreaks, to protect farm homes, to protect livestock, for wildlife habitat. We plant uh, forest buffers along streams to protect water quality and to prevent soil erosion. People can order trees from us uh, anytime from basically now, September, up until about February or March, depending on the district. NRDs will have a list of available trees and usually some pictures and uh, depictions on our websites, but you can call our office and we'd be glad to sit down and help you figure out a plan for uh, planting windbreak or whatever you want for your farm or rural home. We sell a wide variety of both coniferous and deciduous trees and shrubs. A lot of uh, shrubs are very good for wildlife habitat, for birds especially. He shares the benefits of the NRD trees. Uh, NRD trees are grown here in Nebraska. We uh, work with the Nebraska uh, Forest Service and Halsey National Forest out at Thedford, Nebraska. They grow the trees for us and then we sell them through our NRD offices. They're adapted to our local environment and uh, because we want to encourage tree planting, we sell them at relatively small cost so that we encourage more trees to be planted in our area. If a farmer, a rural landowner wants to plant a, a larger shelter belt or windbreak, we can help them pay for the cost of that because we know they're going to have a maintenance expense and we want to make sure that we uh, find ways to encourage them to plant trees. To find more information about the trees, all of the local NRDs have websites and the State Association of Resource Districts website is nrdnet.org. I'm Carla Nichols reporting. Thank mm -hmm. you.